Hey guys, it's uh, Compass here. Um, I've gone ahead and made a few changes to, to voice attack that I'm currently testing out. So for those of you who don't remember voice attack, around August of last year I built this uh, set of profiles for the voice attack controller software, which allows you to basically use your voice as a controller. Um, so a few, um, well, I guess this morning, I was uh, asked by a veteran to see if I could set up a, a more robust one that involved, you know, being able to call out individual aircraft carriers. And I thought that over, and while it is a good idea, the problem with that is that it ends up creating, like, a lot of profiles. Like, you know, like the Shokaku has three loadouts, so you have to, like, build three of them. So instead, I, I tried a different approach, which probably will be a little easier to set up for most people, simply because you don't have to set up Shokaku 1, 2, and 3, and then have to know which one is which. Instead, you can use the Task Force system. So the, uh, if you look at the bottom, uh, the, the biggest issue is selecting multiple types of aircraft, General or of the same type of aircraft. So I went through and found every single set of aircraft, pairs, triplets, and quadruples. So you can see here we have 2 and 3 was Task Force 23, 4 and 5 is Task Force 45, 6 and 7 is Task Force 67. So I went through every single carrier load on the game and made specific callouts for them. So in this case, to call the fires, I would just say, um, Task Force 23, move. Task Force 45, move. Task Force 67, move. So there's other stuff like, you know, like the Hakuryu Hikur can get the, the 422 loadout. And then it would be like two, three, four, and five as fighters. I would just say Task Force 25. I have to wait, sorry. Task Force 25. And it would just be just like that. Carrier? Move. Uh, the, the other controls are the same. I did remove the, uh, the basic um, calling all fighters, calling all bombers, and stuff like that, because it just... Having to manually set that up really grinds my gears for each individual, you know, squadron. So using the task force system should be a little easier. I made it for both the U.S. and the Japanese ones. As long as you read off the correct numbers off the bottom, you know, like two through four or whatever it is, it'll pull up all those squadrons. It only includes the actual fighter groups. So you can't, like, do task force 26 and do all this because there's no carrier with five of the same fighter groups. It also was a little more flexible, you know, the American uh, carriers had their squadrons changed entirely, so I didn't want to make it too complicated to set up. So we're going to go ahead and do some actual uh, attacks with these things. Uh, task Group 67. Move. Manual. Then. Move. Cancel manual. Task Force 45. Move. Then. Move. Then. Manual. Move. Cancel manual. Calling all fighters. I can't even do that anymore. Task Group 23. Task Force 23. Move, then, manual, move, so it's going to be a little slower unfortunately than, you know, like actually using a mouse and keyboard, but it should be, you know, sufficient to actually be able to use your fighters and your bombers without having to use the keyboard. Uh, right now all I'm using is my mouse. And, you know, like, waving it around. Return to base. Return. Um, I mean, I haven't used this in about, you know, like, four or five months. And it's still pretty easy to use. Task Group 67. Task Force 67. Cancel manual. Move. Task Group 67. Task Force 67. Move. Task Force 45. Move. 
Task Force 45, move. Carrier, move. Full speed ahead. Secondaries. I don't remember how to set up the secondaries. Um, there are a few more changes I have to make, such as um, adding in all the, the smoke setup for the cruisers, and then, like, I think sonar is new. Uh, defensive fire for destroyers. <laughs> Uh, speed booster destroyers. There's a, a few extra commands, but basically, um, I've set up a, a, a few more extra commands. I'll release them on the uh, the mods part. And once we get that set up, if anyone wants to, you know, make some changes or whatever, uh, you can just send me an email and let me know, or like mail me the files. Uh, just send me a message in YouTube, and I'll let you uh, uh, get my private email and then you can send it and I'll, you know, I can post on my own media fire if I have to. Task Force 67. Manual. Move. We'll see how accurate these guys are. It's not that great of a target blast. Task Force 45. Cancel manual. Move. Then, manual. Wow, that literally did nothing. Uh, well, it is, you know, <laughs> really l Shokaku power. Task Force 23. Task Force 23. Move. Cancel manual. Um, I mean, that's that's really it for uh, the new changes I've made. I just got to make a few changes to the uh, carrier. Move. Full speed ahead. Hard to port. Stop engine. I mean, most of the controls still work. Um, same as before. Uh, hopefully this will help other people once I finish making it. Uh, if anyone else has any suggestions, feel free to put it in the comments. Or I'm probably going to place a Reddit thread and, I don't know, forum thread. Just figure out a way to contact me and let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll try to make those commands. It's still a little hard to make some of the, uh, the fancier techniques but um i mean as far as things go this is pretty consistent in terms of actually you know being usable it sounds like it's working hopefully it'll help people out um anyways that's it for this video this isn't a fancy you know kill video or anything like that but it's a, a second proof of concept to show that you know we, we've moved up to getting the task forces working and hopefully that'll make it even more approachable to play carriers if you know if you like playing games using your voice or if you're uh if you're disabled anyways see you guys next time uh remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't